Hello, how is it going everyone? This is Who Cares the Hunter and here's a little tutorial about duck hunting. As a member of the wiki team I was fortunate to receive a lot of information about duck hunting right from the developer Expansive Worlds and I have put all this information into a wiki page called Waterfowling. So look it up, search for Waterfowling and you will find all this information in there. Or you watch this little tutorial. I hope you have fun. Rugaru Bayou is the name of the new reserve and this is what it looks like. There's a few hills in the north of the map but the larger part of the map is swamps like this and they've done a great job with, uh, with the vegetation. You can see all the cypress trees, they uh, put vegetation in the water which is different. They even changed the color of the water to make it look more more dirty, more muddy. And it's really you really get this feeling for being in a in a swamp. You kinda feel the heat and the humidity almost when you're here. So let's get prepared for duck hunting. We've uh, already put a few decoys in the water. And to place the decoys you bas basically take one in your hands. You can use the mouse wheel to change the direction and then with the right mouse you can rotate it and with the left mouse you place it. So you want to place them in a circle that's gonna have about 50 square meters or 100 square meters actually and that's a radius of maybe 6 meters or so. So I'm going to try this here. I'll just set out these decoys and um, it doesn't really matter whether they're males or females. So I picked 12 of each in the store just uh, for diversity and uh, whenever you place one the next decoy is going to be placed in your hands so you can place them quite quickly uh, so I've set out 24 decoys as you can see here my tent is right here so when I start the hunt I'm right here uh, near the water near my decoys where I can start hunting ducks also what they uh, made available is this uh, waterfowl blind. Um, you can place it right near the water and it's got space for three people if you do multiplayer. Uh, there can be three people in here and it covers you um, it covers you from uh, from being seen by the ducks if you don't use a blind you have to f lay flat on the ground or they will see your movements so now we should be ready for the ducks to come in we have prepared everything we can we've set out the decoys we set up the waterfall blind we have a tent here so we can start here anytime right away we prepared our weapons what you can use is all the shotguns with birdshot you can use any type of bow or the crossbow and you can use the small uh, 357 revolver these are the ethical weapons of course the uh, the bows are to shoot them in the water but if you uh, want the duck to score uh, in a competition or f uh, for the leaderboards you need air shots of course one thing you need to know is ducks can only land on water so this is why you need to pick a large body of water where you can uh, wait for them to come they will not come to the land they will not land here they will not move around so th there's not really a tracking of ducks you wait for them to appear in the skies and then you call them down to call them down you have this mallard long range collar it's a wooden piece that you use and with this collar you make the ducks detach from their flock when they appear in a flock some of them will actually break from the flock they will descend and come down to land near you so this is what the wooden collar is for then there's the plastic collar the green collar and that imitates the, f the sound that ducks make when they feed so 
what this is for is once the ducks have uh, broken off their flock use the green collar to make him land near you if they land further away you can still use that collar to make him swim closer so this really brings the ducks close to you so now all we can do is wait for them to appear so there's our first flock up there let's uh, quickly call them down oh you can see some are detaching already just by the decoys so there is uh, five there, three there eight ducks came down just by the uh, decoys that I set out now I'm using the uh, green collar so that they possibly land really close to me they almost land in my ground blind here or waterfall blind and something spooked them that wasn't fast enough but as you can see just the decoys alone lured eight birds from the passing flock down here so that's pretty good unfortunately I wasn't fast enough to react to so much action right now but okay but we'll wait for the next flock and uh, use the collar again hopefully we can uh, get a few more here is another spot that works for duck hunting it's right south of the southern lodge and there's a large body of water here there's this little peninsula and the only thing that's obscuring my view uh, to the skies are these few trees here otherwise I have a 360 view and this is really great for for seeing the ducks and here they are two are coming already so this is a spot will, uh, where I will uh, spend some time with the duck hunts you can only hit the birds from uh, 75 meters away uh, and if you aim well so this one uh, got a wave but as you can see here is also a good place you don't have to go too far I put my tent anyway so I can start here but I might as well just walk or run here it's really close to the lodge great view all the way around it's beautiful here so this spot seems to work as well
This concludes our little duck hunting tutorial. First, find a good spot with a lot of water where the ducks can land. Set up your decoys. Set out enough so that the ducks will be lured from the sky. Consider placing a waterfowl blind. This will make it a lot easier for you to wait for those ducks and they will not discover you. Once you see the flock in the sky, use the wooden collar to call them down to you. Use the green collar to make them come really close. Once they land, you can also use the green collar to make them swim closer to you. And do never forget to load up your shotgun because once they come down, there will be a lot of action and you really need to be prepared. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and I'll see you next time. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.